AI just changed 1 in 25 people's political opinions without them realizing it. An Anthropic's chief scientist just said most white-collar jobs will be automated within three years. If you're thinking, that can't be real, I spent the last week digging through every major AI announcement, and trust me, this is just the beginning. This week wasn't about incremental updates, this was the week everything shifted. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down the five biggest AI developments that actually matter to you, not just to tech insiders. We're talking Google turning AI into your personal intern, OpenAI making chatbots confess their mistakes, and an IPO race that could reshape the entire industry. First up, let's talk about how Google just automated your entire workday. Story 1. Google's AI Intern Revolution Here's where it gets interesting. Google just dropped something they're calling Workspace Studio, and it's not just another chatbot feature. This is genuinely different. Think about your typical workday for a second. You're copying data from emails into spreadsheets. You're generating the same types of reports every week. You're sorting through hundreds of messages trying to find the important ones. Now imagine you could just tell an AI agent, hey, every time I get an invoice email, pull the numbers and update my budget spreadsheet. And it just does it forever without you touching it again. That's exactly what Google's rolling out today for business and enterprise users. These aren't simple automation scripts. We're talking about AI agents powered by Gemini's multimodal intelligence that can actually understand context across your entire workspace. They read text, they interpret what you mean, and they execute multi-step workflows automatically. Here's what makes this a game changer. You don't need to code anything. You literally just describe the task in plain English. Want an agent that sorts your Gmail, generates weekly summary docs, and syncs everything to Google Drive? Just tell it what to do, which apps to use, and what rules to follow. The platform builds the logic behind the scenes. Now wait until you see this next part. Google isn't operating in a vacuum here. They're going head-to-head -head with OpenAI's ChatGPT agents and Anthropic's automation features. But Google has one massive advantage. They already own the ecosystem. Billions of documents, millions of businesses, all running on Workspace. This integration is already there, which means these agents can start working immediately across tools you're already using every single day. Analysts are calling this the shift from employees doing repetitive digital tasks to AI handling them completely. And honestly, when you think about how much time we waste on data entry, email management, and document formatting, this could genuinely free knowledge workers to focus on actual decision-making and creative work. This rollout begins today. If you're on a business or enterprise plan, you can start building these agents right now. Story 2. ChatGPT's Confession Booth Okay, so this next development is wild, and here's why it matters. You've definitely experienced this. You ask ChatGPT a question, it gives you an answer, and you're sitting there thinking, did it actually understand what I meant, or did it just make something up? You end up spending extra time fact-checking, validating, trying to figure out if the AI hallucinated or just misinterpreted your instructions. OpenAI knows this is a problem, so they're testing something called confessions. Here's how it works. After ChatGPT generates an answer, it evaluates itself. It tells you whether it followed your instructions correctly, whether it struggled with reasoning, whether it made assumptions you didn't ask for. Essentially, the model confesses when it messed up or deviated from what you wanted. This is honestly brilliant when you think about it. Instead of leaving users to guess whether the output is reliable, ChatGPT would just openly disclose its mistakes. For enterprise users, researchers, anyone relying on high accuracy, this could cut validation time dramatically. But here's where it gets even more interesting. This isn't just about making fact-checking easier. This is part of OpenAI's broader push toward trustworthy, agentic AI. As these systems become more autonomous, 
Self-reporting mechanisms like confessions could become essential to keeping them aligned with what humans actually want. Now, the AI community is split on this. Some people see confessions as a promising step toward transparent reasoning. Others worry that models might misreport their own confidence, basically lying about how sure they are. But even skeptics agree this could become foundational in high-stakes environments like legal work, medical research, and engineering, where you absolutely need instruction fidelity. The experiment is live now in limited testing. If it works, expect this to become standard across future AI workflows. Story 3. Gemini gets deep think mode. Google just activated something they're calling deep think, and this is their most advanced Gemini mode yet. If you're a Google AI Ultra subscriber, you now have access to a reasoning engine that explores multiple hypotheses in parallel before giving you an answer. This isn't your standard chatbot response. Deep Think is designed to solve math problems, science questions, and complex logic tasks by actually reasoning through different approaches, comparing outcomes, and validating answers against various scenarios. Think of it this way. Instead of jumping to the first solution, Gemini Deep Think tries several paths simultaneously, tests them, and only then gives you the most rigorous answer. This marks a major upgrade in reasoning performance, moving beyond static prompts into deeper, multi-step cognitive tasks that mirror how humans actually think through difficult problems. According to Google, the model now attempts to explain its conclusions across problem types, including abstract logic, complex formulas, and hypothetical chains. For enterprise and research users, this means fewer errors and more transparency in how answers are derived. And here's the context you need. This is part of a broader race among frontier labs to embed agent-like reasoning capabilities. Google is directly competing with OpenAI's latest ChatGPT updates, and both companies are trying to prove their models can handle increasingly complex autonomous tasks. DeepThink is available now under Google's highest tier plan. If you're working on rigorous analytical problems, this could be a significant upgrade. Story 4. Anthropic's IPO race. Okay, this one has huge implications for the entire AI industry. Anthropic, the company behind Claude, has reportedly begun laying the legal groundwork for a potential IPO by 2026. According to the Financial Times, they've hired the same legal team that took Google and LinkedIn public. This is a serious signal that Anthropic is preparing to enter public markets within the next two years. Now here's why this matters. Investors are reportedly pushing Anthropic to beat OpenAI to the IPO stage. Both companies are backed by billions in venture capital and massive cloud infrastructure partnerships. Both are racing to commercialize cutting-edge foundation models. But their pitches are fundamentally different. Anthropic is leaning hard into safety and alignment, positioning Claude as the responsible, thoughtful alternative. OpenAI, meanwhile, continues to focus on scale and dominance. If Anthropic goes public first, it could reshape how AI labs raise capital. An IPO unlocks long-term funding and credibility, but it also exposes roadmaps and financials to public scrutiny. Analysts believe this could intensify competition between two of the most prominent independent AI firms vying for global dominance. A 2026 listing would also signal to the market that AI companies are moving from experimental research labs to mature, revenue-generating businesses. That's a massive shift. Beyond headlines, three stories you need to know. Before we wrap up, let me hit you with three rapid-fire developments that didn't make the main stories but are absolutely worth knowing about. First, Anthropic's white-collar warning. Anthropic's chief scientist, Jared Kaplan, just said that humanity will face its biggest decision yet between 2027 and 2030. The question? Whether to allow AI systems to autonomously train their successors through recursive self-improvement. He predicts AI will handle most white-collar tasks within two to three years. Not five years, not a decade. Two to three years. That's a fundamental reshaping of global labor markets happening faster than most people realize. Second, Claude's soul got leaked. 
A confidential anthropic document describing Claude's internal ethics and personality was extracted from Claude 4 5 Opus and leaked online. Anthropic confirmed it's authentic. This soul file was used in training to shape the chatbot's self conception and behavior. The leak renews scrutiny over how labs define AI identity and align model values. It's rare to see this kind of internal documentation exposed, and it raises questions about transparency in AI development. Third, AI is changing voter opinions. Peer-reviewed studies published in Science and Nature found that AI chatbots change the political views of 1 in 25 users. That's outperforming traditional campaign tools. Researchers say even subtle chatbot responses can shift preferences, which raises urgent concerns about AI's influence over democratic decisions, especially in high-stakes electoral environments. This is the kind of thing that could fundamentally alter how campaigns operate. So there you have it. Five major AI developments, plus three bonus stories, all from this week alone. Google's automating your workday, OpenAI's making chatbots confess their mistakes, Gemini's reasoning like never before, and Anthropic's gearing up for an IPO that could reshape the industry. If you found this breakdown helpful, drop a comment and let me know which stories surprised you the most. And if you want to stay updated on AI news without the hype, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.